Hello, hello, this is Minecraft here, and today I'm doing a part 2 of my Skyblock Mob Grinder tutorial. I'm making this tutorial part 2 because some of you suggested this on the comment section in part 1 on the first video. Some of you asked on how to stack the grinder. Well, that is very, very easy. First, make sure that it is all lit up. Well, actually, I have to deconstruct the torches here because um, this is actually going to be the floor for the second level. Um, but lighting up the um, the roof of the grinder definitely makes uh, rates go up because the spawns don't go on the top of the roof. Um, they go down because uh, during the nighttime monsters can spawn on top and it can be a big pain if they uh, if they fall down onto the skyblock island. I've had some creepers fall down before. Uh, anyway, um, so when I'm done deconstructing that, you first have to find... Oh, let me just cover that up. Uh, you first have to climb up here, which is uh, a bit difficult, especially if you're in survival mode. Of course, I'm in creative mode. Now, first, you have to find where the center of the spawner is. That's where the chute is. So it should be something like um, if you covered if you covered this section with blocks too. So you count from here, um, which is I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so I think it should be, uh, let me just, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nope, this is the wrong area, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yes, you count from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then you put blocks here, just or, or just a torch or something to mark it out. Um, then you go on the other side and do that as well, possibly. Um, so you count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so this should be the area where the chute is. And my calculations were exactly correct. Oh no, I was actually off by one measurement. Um, oh, it's actually like this, yes. Uh, if you want to be exact, you can count it out, but I just prefer just um, taking a pickaxe and kind of eyeing it out and then just finding it is easier than to have to count so when you're done making a hole here make sure there's no mobs there well ow actually you will just make sure there's no skeleton at you because they can actually shoot you from here which is uh, quite dangerous especially when you're high up uh, so anyway so what you do is you lay out a platform r like right here oh actually no you can actually save even more space you just Never mind that, just put two blocks like I'm doing it right now. Uh, because that way you'll use the optimal space. So you put out the blocks like this. And you just go around um, this. Uh, and right here is where the platform is going to be, where they're going to spawn. Uh, of course you're going to need to put up a second roof, which you will need to light up as well. If you want to get good rates and stuff. Uh, so... Of course, I'm using iron just so it was easy, so it would be so it would be easy to see. However, you should use um, something like cobblestone, especially if you're in Skyblock, unless you have a very large iron farm. In which case, you would probably be building a different mob grinder, and not such a primitive mob grinder as this. I have to admit that this is not one of the best mob grinders. There are definitely better designs, which have redstone in them, and we all know how difficult it is to get redstone in um, Skyblock in large amounts, especially. Uh, so make sure to fill in this section here too. Um, so yes, um, like I said, it's fairly difficult to get redstone in large amounts in Skyblock. Of course, you can only get it from witches, um, for which you need a mob grinder. This mob grinder is fairly well used for getting startup resources. So I suggest actually... Oh, I fell off. Uh, I actually suggest building a much better mob grinder after you've played for a while. I might do a tutorial in a better mob grinder, but um, I need to think of a design, uh, and I think it will be redstone integrated. This mob grinder is very great because it does not have any redstone. However, this makes it kind of um, not a very good option for players who have lots of resources, um, and also especially for players who don't know anything about redstone. If you're a skilled redstone veteran, then uh, of course this mob grinder would be a very bad option for you, especially if you have copious amounts of redstone. However, in Skyblock, resources are um, 
there's not much redstone and resources are pretty rare like that. Um, so this is a very great mob grinder for skyblock but for maybe if you're on a um, vanilla world it would be much better to build a redstone integrated mob grinder because um, because it's much easier to get redstone and you can just go into the mines and get some and it's also much easier to get resources and also this mob grinder would get much worse rates in a regular vanilla world than in skyblock the only reason there's it gets so much spawnages in skyblock is because all of the spawns go into one spot however if you're playing um, somewhere maybe on a server i guess or uh, or um a vanilla world uh, then what's gonna happen is that the spawnages are gonna go into the caves and you're gonna get rates much much worse than you s than what you see on skyblock so right now you're gonna put up a roof so right now I'm gonna put up a roof like this and just roof it around like that and also don't forget to put water here it's very very important that you put water in here or else you're gonna get very very bad rates because um the mobs won't go down the chute themselves, which is, um, it helps them go down through there. And also, one thing I forgot to mention is that you can actually take a trapdoor, and if you have enough wood, you can put trapdoors around here. And it actually tricks the mobs into thinking that this is a solid block there, so they will actually go down, so they are actually drop down more often here. They're walking, walking, and they see, they think this is a full block, but it's not a full block, so they walk off and then drop down, and then eventually fall down and die. However, trapdoors do take quite a bit of wood, and wood is a fairly important resource in Skyblock, very, very useful, and unless you have a very large industrial tree farm, I do not recommend placing trapdoors, because it only increases the yields by a little bit, and is only e economical in the very, very long run. So anyway, I'm just going to put up more trapdoors just to show you how it works. Uh, also, some people say that it's uh, it's good to place trapdoors here, but I don't think it's very good because um, the water already pushes the mobs down, so there's no need to place trapdoors here unless you don't have water in here. If you don't have water in here, then you should place trapdoors in here, uh, but you will still get very, very horrible rates. I do recommend placing water in there. And obviously in Skyblock you do have water, so why not? Um, so it seems like I'm almost done with the trapdoors. Just double clicking it here. Um, I recommend building the mob grinder out of uh, cobblestone. Many people say um, that it's better to build it out of wood planks, and many people like using wood for mob grinders in Skyblock. I prefer using cobblestone because you can AFK cobblestone. You just put a weight on your mouse. I might do a tutorial on that pretty soon if I get requests. So anyway, but however, wood, you either need a lot of uh, bone meal, which you probably don't have, because if you don't have a mob grinder, then you probably don't have much bone meal. This mob grinder is the first thing that I build in Skyblock. Of course, I first have to extend the island, make a, make a small tree farm. Then what I do is I make a cobblestone generator. And then one of the first things I build is this mob grinder. And of course, you should build it out of cobblestone, not out of wood, if you don't have bone meal, which you probably don't have if you don't have a mob grinder. I don't I don't recommend building this mob grinder for a, for a skyblock player that already has a mob grinder because if you already have a mob grinder and have s at least some access to redstone, some other YouTubers have very very great designs for redstone integrated mob grinders. I might come up with a design and make a tutorial for that. But in the meanwhile, I do not recommend using this design for skilled players, um, for those who in end game situations if you have played skyblock for a very very long time and you already have lots of resources this is a fairly bad option for a mob grinder because redstone integrated mob grinders would give much higher yields so what you do is you just roof this up and i think i'm gonna skip this because it takes quite a bit and i don't want to bore you guys out so see you guys in a bit Hello everybody and welcome back. I have completed roofing up the mob grinder and this is how it looks when it's um, two stories mob grinder. You should see this um, 
little piece here where there's no blocks in here. Not just to conserve blocks because in Skyblock um, cobblestone is quite expensive and it is definitely useful. So, and just uh, if if you didn't cover this side up, try to cover it up because um, sometimes um, when I play Skyblock, I don't place blocks here because they're not very necessary if you only build um, a one-story grinder. However, if you go for a second story, then I suggest filling these blocks in because sometimes if you leave a two-block space here, then mobs can spawn and they can take away the rates and they can jump on your island and a creeper can just blow up. Um, you just jump on top of you and blow up. And that has actually happened to me, I think. And one thing to make sure is that you should definitely light up the top of the grinder, the roof, just to make sure that your rates are better, and just to make sure that there's no mob spawning. And believe me, it it had it it, it actually happened to me before because I think a creeper spawned up here, and then um, he jumped down somehow, and then killed me, which uh, which really sucked. So I I strongly suggest you use the I strongly suggest that you put up some torches here, um, make some charcoal from wood and just put some torches up here. It, it it gives you much more resources in the end run because it conserves spawning rates and it's great for um, keeping you alive. So anyway, when you if the, you can actually build even higher. So if you want even more spawning rates, you can even build higher. In that case, you do the same thing that you did with the last level. You just put walls up here, and then you roof it up, and then you can build even higher, as high as you would like, until you reach um, the point where you can't build any higher. However, I wouldn't say that... Um, the higher you go, it doesn't really add more spawning rates because the first level, like the first level, it it gives you a really really large amount of loot. However, the second level does not give you as much loot as the first level does, and the subsequent levels they give you less and less loot because the mob spawnage it's like the game has it with for, for like I think it's tied to chunks and every chunk has a certain amount of mobs that need to spawn or something like that so when there's a large area when there's like a lot of levels then when there's a lot of lot of mob spawning there's a level on which mobs won't spawn any longer and the higher you go sometimes mob spawnage won't increase but that's only if you have like 10 levels which is very unlikely building a second level is a great investment because it gives you more resources however in the end run I do suggest um, building a redstone integrated grinder because it gives you much better um, rates. However, if you're a redstone noob or just simply don't have the resources, I strongly suggest you build this grinder or add a second level to make sure you get more rates. Thank you for watching. This is my Kralix. See you all in the next video.